What's up, you guys? This is Warren with Scale Audio, and today we're going to talk about what is an auxiliary send. An auxiliary send is somewhere where we're sending some of a signal. And let me clarify that, okay? An auxiliary send and a mix bus, they seem like they're the same thing. If you don't know where, what a mix bus is, it's somewhere that you're sending signal to from multiple tracks in order to affect it all in one location. The difference between a mix bus and an auxiliary bus is an auxiliary bus, we're sending some signal. A mix bus, we're sending all signal, okay? So follow me here. Let's say that I have a vocal and I wanna add reverb to it, and I'm gonna do an auxiliary track for that reverb. This vocal is also going to send to the master track. The master track is the output. It's the output of the entire track for everything, right? And that's what everything eventually leads to, is the master track. Our drums are gonna go through it, our everything. Everything in the song is gonna eventually make its way to the master track, okay? So our vocal, master track. To the side of it is an auxiliary. The auxiliary is processing sound like doing something like a reverb. So now I have this auxiliary going to the master as well. I've got vocal, Vocal auxiliary, both, master track. The difference is the mix bus, this vocal is gonna go to what would be called a vocal bus. So if I had four or five vocals, they would all, one, two, three, four, five, be going to one track called the vocal bus. And then that vocal bus would be going to the master. And I want you to notice the main difference is these four to five vocals that are over here, none of them are going to the master track first or at all, period. None of them are going anywhere else, period, other than the mix bus. And so that's why it's a mix bus. Now, if I had these same five sending signal to one location over here, but they were also sending signal over to the master over here, this one channel would be called an auxiliary take away that master send or take away any other sends to anywhere else, this is now a bus. And it's, it's that simple. So if we take a look at my DAW, people often use these auxiliaries for what's called parallel compression. If you want to know what that is, video above or reverb. If you want to know what that is, we're going to look at it right now. So what I have here is I have a vocal bus. If you'll notice, one, two, three, four, five vocals, all going to the same place. This is where we're sending to, this is where we're receiving. You'll see our master over here. Now we'd be receiving at the master, but we're not. There's nothing, nothing over there, okay? Then we get to our bus. Now we're sending to the master, but what we're also sending to is we're sending some signal, we're sending some of it to a channel over here, okay? Now, I know this looks turned down, but that's because we're using this little effect here, this plugin, to actually send it. If you'll see, vocal auxiliary, vocal auxiliary, our volume's up here. So we're actually using this to send to our auxiliary. So if we listen. Now, if I end up Muting the auxiliary, you'll notice that we still have signal going to the master. Right? If I unmute it. Now, our vocal bus over here, let's just take away this send. Because this send is before our mute button here. So, I'll just take that off. So now, if I mute all of these vocals... I can do it just through the one bus because they're all being sent here and nowhere else. So if I play it, you can see signal coming in here, but you hear nothing, okay? Because all of these are just sending to this one spot that we just muted, which would be the bus. And... That's the basic idea behind an auxiliary, is an auxiliary is getting some signal, not all the signal. 
because we have Signal sending somewhere else, or in this case, the master as well. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, please like. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. This was Warren with Scale Audio and Audios.